guys, I'm back from school. Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Des. If you haven't already, you should subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a video. Today, we're going to be doing our top five Trader Joe's items that you guys should check out if you have a Trader Joe's near you. Item number one. Marshmallows. The Trader Joe's marshmallows are completely vegan and the only ingredients are tapioca syrup, cane sugar, water, tapioca starch, carrageenan, I don't know what that is, but soy protein, natural vanilla flavor. So it does contain soy, but other than that, it doesn't contain gelatin and it's, uh, it's vegan. But it feels like gelatin. It's vegan and... It feels like gelatin. It does. So it's gluten free and vegan. So it's a little bit better than like the regular marshmallows. It's a little bit better for you. It doesn't contain a bunch of weird like ingredients, except for the carrot gene and whatever that was. So Trader Joe's marshmallows, give them a try. They taste delicious. They melt just like regular marshmallows. They're literally just regular marshmallows without all the extra additives. Did you like those marshmallows? Yeah. Next up are the Trader O's. So these are like SpaghettiOs, but they're just the Trader Joe's brand. And this is um, a little bit less like random ingredients in your SpaghettiOs. It's made with organic pasta and it's also made with organic tomato and cheese sauce. So it's organic and it's a little bit less random ingredients again. So there's only water, organic tomato, pur tomato puree, um, organic macaroni, organic cheddar cheese, and citric cheddar acid. Cheese organic onion powder, organic acid. paprika, organic garlic powder. What is acid? It's just stuff they put in food to give it some acid. flavor. Honestly, I don't know why they put acid in food. There's probably a good reason. But the Trader Joe's, Trader O's pasta is a little bit better and has less weird ingredients so if you guys have a Trader Joe's and your kids like SpaghettiOs definitely give Trader O's a shot they taste just like SpaghettiOs in my opinion maybe a little bit better because they are you know better these are also fairly inexpensive so they're $1.49 and um, you know pretty much the same as any other SpaghettiOs all right moving on to the organic brown rice Penne pasta. It's gluten free, sodium free, and you get 16 ounces, which is a pound. It's kosher certified. It doesn't contain anything other than organic brown rice and water and, um, yeah. Pasta? Yes, pasta. So I've tried a lot of different brown rice pastas, and all of them seem to just not cook correctly. And I've tried Kroger, I've tried Walmart, I've tried the other brands, but the only one that I really do enjoy is the, this one, the Trader Joe's Organic Brown Rice Pasta. It's really good, and it's only $1.69, I believe, that it was. So, it's inexpensive, you get a pound, it's pretty good. The only thing that I would change about anything that's sold at Trader Joe's is the amount of plastic and random waste products that you don't necessarily need, which is one of the reasons why I don't like shopping there quite as often. Check out Whole Foods too, they're amazing. And item number four is the vegan banana bread with walnuts. It's the Trader Joe's brand. It's um, eight servings per container. It's delicious. You guys have had it. Do you remember what this tastes like? Do you like it? So it's really good. The only ingredients are banana puree, citric, I'm just gonna tell you, banana puree, unbleached enriched wheat flour, um, cane sugar, canola oil, walnuts, baking soda, natural flavors, salt, and it does contain wheat and walnut. Wow. Yeah. So this one is really good. 
it's really good as like a fast to go breakfast and it pairs well with coffee and it's just delicious kids love it too and it's only $3.99 at the store so compared to like a whole foods muffin it's a little bit cheaper and you get quite a bit of it in this little loaf um you know you're not gonna be eating half of the loaf pan although i have so you know. and our top five product that i think everyone can agree on is the everything but the bagel seasoning so how do you feel about the bagel seasoning i love it she loves it we go through this at least once a week and it's been a while since i went back and bought it just because i haven't been to trader joe's recently but i needed to pick it up because i miss it it goes on literally everything it goes on pasta it goes on bread it goes on avocado toast it adds a certain flavor that i think everybody can agree that it's just great and it adds like a little twist to anything that you make so we love the everything but the bagel seasoning and i feel like that's a given if you've ever seen a trader joe's haul or trader joe's must have video this is something that you know everybody really likes do you like it yeah do you like it amity do you like the salt i like to call it salt my husband also really likes it he's a salt person and so he adds this to everything and a lot of it which is why we go through it so quickly I we also bought some Z bars. They're a little bit more inexpensive at Trader Joe's, I find. They're 59 cents at my Trader Joe's. And um, at Whole Foods, I believe they're 79 cents. And at like Kroger, I believe they're 79 cents as well. But sometimes you can get deals. I just, sometimes we buy them at Trader Joe's. So those are my top five items to go check out at your local Trader Joe's. If you have one, not everybody is lucky enough to have a Trader Joe's. The only issues I have with Trader Joe's are like the excessive amounts of plastic. Everything is literally wrapped in plastic. Things that don't need to be wrapped in plastic are wrapped in plastic. And I don't know, that's a little bit too much for me. There's also not too much of a vegan selection which also puts a damper on things but i do tend to find some pretty good things and i just want to point out that the everything but the bagel seasoning is in a glass container the only plastic is the little plastic thing that keeps people from opening it and the lid so just a heads up so that is it for our trader joe's must-haves did you think we did a good job at Trader Joe's? Yeah. I think so too. We're waiting for Matt to get out of a meeting and I'm in a parking lot. So I'm sorry that this isn't filmed in a more pleasantly aesthetic background, I guess. Background? But background. Background. But I think, you know, we work with what we got and this is what we have. So if you guys do go to Trader Joe's and you try out one of these products, please let me know. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep in touch and become a part of the McAdam family. And we will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Emily, you want to say bye? Somebody's angry.